Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I want to compare two new Garmin watches. They are the Vivo Active 4S and the Venue 2S. So there are a lot of similarity between the two watches and, uh, and I know a lot of people are trying to find a difference and because of course their prices, I think there are a couple hundred dollars difference in there unless you can find some deal in there. Uh, I've used both these watches for about two weeks and uh, I think I have a, good, a pretty good idea on what's different and what's the same in there. Uh, first, let's talk about uh, what they are similar. So. They actually look very similar and they both offer a standard version and smaller version. And uh, what I bought are smaller versions, smaller version are 40 millimeters. So there's actually no difference between smaller and the uh, bigger version. If you buy, uh, say, say this one, there's smaller version, bigger version. There's no much of difference except the look in there. So I like the smaller version in there and they both offer the rose gold, um, the metal stainless steel, uh, like a shell in here and um, they both offer the wide band in there the bands are exactly the same same length same width in there if you look at this rose gold uh, metal in there I'm not sure if you can see um, the detail in there so in manual 2 uh, there are all these grooves in here but then in Vivo Active 4, it's all smooth. So that's the only difference on this metal shell in there. Um, in the back, they look slightly different. And I believe this white material is a better and a stronger material than what's in here. And then it looks like the location of their sensors are slightly different, although they are the same kind of sensor. And then they do use the same charger actually. So um, they actually look very similar. Um, and also the second way they're very similar is uh, they actually have exactly the same sensor. First of all, they're of course both GPS watch, meaning they have a GPS reception in there, meaning um, you don't really have to carry your phone. If you just have your watch, you go outside, take a run. Um, the watch will tell you the, the record of you. They're both GPS watch. They both have heart rate monitor in there telling you heart rate at any time. And um, actually, since they're both on my palm in there, they're showing my heart rate kind of almost the same, I would say. And uh, they both offer the pulse oxygen sensor and the respiration sensors. These are some two new sensors that uh, Garmin just put in there, which did not re exist in their previous generation. And uh, they offer some uh, typical standard stuff from Garmin. For example, if you see my uh, app in there, of course, they are able to track your steps, the number of floors you climb. And then they are able to tell you um, your like sleep tracking, your stages, uh, like this. So, um, and then also they are able to, there's some new features in Garmin, they call the body battery. So what it means is uh, it will consider your body as a rechargeable battery. So your body recharged during the night, it will see the body battery going up and then it will drain the battery during the day, depending on what kind of activity you do. Uh, so this is some new feature that exists on both watches and I really like. So, so these are the things that are similar between the watches. Now let's talk, talk, uh, talk about the difference in there. So there are three difference I think exist between the two watches. The first difference is, uh, I would say the major difference, the most obvious difference is between the display of them. So uh, Vivo Active 4, it uses Garmin's traditional display. Uh, what I mean is, uh, if you can see, the, it is a color display. You can see uh, like my, my like a, this needle in there, it's red and my battery here, it's green in there. It's a color screen. But then it's not, the color is not a bright or uh, as a vibrant as Vanue 2 screen in there. And it has a lower resolution compared to this one. Now the upside of it is this is a, a screen that actually saves a lot of battery. It doesn't drain the battery a lot. And because of that, um, 
Garmin can offer always on display on this watch. And this is actually a screen that typical on most of the Garmin watches in there. And then that's why Garmin is able to offer always on for most of its watches. Now, the main different main selling point, I believe, on Venue 2 is its AMO LED screen. So AMO LED, it's a much better LED screen. As you can see the color in there, you can also see, put even a background in there. You see my green leaves background in there, make it very beautiful. And then the color screen, the color is very vibrant and very bright in there compared to uh, Vivo Active 4 in there. It is a higher resolution. So it's a much beautiful screen. Now the downside is this kind of screen drains battery a lot. So that's why when you first buy this watch, by default, they do not offer you the always on screen, meaning uh, kind of like other brand like a, like Fitbit or Apple Watch, the screen will always want to turn off after several seconds by default. Uh, what I mean turn off is it, it just turn completely dark without anything just to save battery. And then if you want to see the watch, if you want to see your notification, you kind of need to like a, either like knock the screen or snap your wrist, kind of like a motion you raise your hand to, to see the time to wake up the screen to see everything in there. Um, they do that to just to uh, save a battery life. Um, there is a way you can turn on the always on display if that's something you are used to, uh, which is actually what I'm doing in here. So this is their always on screen. So as you can see, it is always on. You can see your time. You can see all the status, uh, but then they still want to turn off the background. Um, see my green leaf background in there uh, in that way to save some battery in there. So, um, so yeah, you do have that option to have a always on display. However, if you use this always on display, it's going to drain the battery a lot. So if you go to Bargarmin's website, they claim this watch has 11 days of battery life. But then in reality, if you choose to use always on display, the real battery life is only two days based on my experience. So it's going to greatly reduce the battery life. That's a trade-off of you using a beautiful screen. Now that's the main difference between these two watches. Now the second difference between the two watch is um, Vanio 2 has some new feature they call the sleep score. Um, so I, what I mean is uh, other than giving you um, a, a deep analysis of um, like a very deep analysis on, on like different stages of your sleep over the night, it will also give you a score of uh, how you're asleep over the night. So this is the one screenshot I took. Say so it give you a score. It tell you like how much you sleep on different stages. It'll tell you whether it's good or poor. Um, and then, so if you go to each individual one, say if you want to see your deep sleep, it can also show you like how where you are compared to a typical range of other people in there. Uh, so that you know how good you are or how bad you are and give you some suggestions on how to improve yourself. So uh, this is a new feature that exists in Vanio 2, but then they don't offer it on Vivo Active uh, 4 yet. So, and which I actually find is very helpful. So now the third difference between these two watches is um, on Vanio 2, they offer something they call the health snapshot. What it is, is uh, it's something you have to initialize. You have to do it yourself. It's not going to happen automatically. So every day you can choose a certain time. You're going to say, I want to do a health snapshot. And then you're just going to have to sit there still for a couple of minutes. And then the watch will try to measure some uh, data from you, like your heart rate, your respiration, your stress level, your body oxygen, oxygen in there. So it's just like a snapshot of you at that moment. And then supposedly if you do this every day, and then in the end you have a record of how, how good your health is going up and down in there. So, but then again, this is something like you have to do it. 
uh, like you have to initialize it every day, kind of like an exercise you have to do. Uh, it's not going to happen automatically. So if you don't do it, um, then this feature is pretty much useless in there. So, uh, so anyway, these are the three main difference um, between the two watches in that in there. Um, in my opinion, there is really not much difference in there. Uh, you are buying this watch for the beautiful look, beautiful screen in there, but then you have to sacrifice on have sacrifice on the battery life in there. I do like the sleep score from this watch. Uh, this is really the only thing that I like this watch compared to Vivo Active Four in there. So. It's really depend on your preference, your budget level in there. So hopefully my, my video will help you to make your own decision. All right. Thank you for watching my video. If you find my video helpful, please subscribe to my channel.